Yep. And it starts with a blah. And yep. then I move on with a blah. And she didn't, didn't type it. And so I'm like, you can type my so yes, if you print up those, uh, I will. Little, just I'll type them up. Them. If you if you don't have title screen, right. that is fine. But do you know how I've got the writing section of Scars of TV? You you get your name? Uh, but uh, you, they have to have something for a name. So, so I usually say untitled and they pick one word in parentheses that reflects the poem. That's all right. And that's what I'd end up doing for them. So, just a lot of them. so I'm going to do something that's weird. About time. So, about time. Um, there was a book release for Paul Ryan. Paul Ryan. Not the Paul Ryan. Not you that know. Paul Ryan. Different Paul Ryan. Okay. <laughs> and they asked us to do cases. And so uh, John joined me, and I believe he had his left face. And was just making movies behind me. But his book was titled Destruction Instructions. Mm -hmm. And so we had to come up with something for this. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so we've got a bunch of pieces that are related to Destruction Instructions. First one is 101 Destruction Instructions A Man Calls a Woman. Every time a man calls a woman a fox, he tells her she is to be treated oh, like an animal. Oh, yeah, every time, oh, I've never read this, but every time, no, well, there's a, it's an elaboration for it. Every time a man calls a woman a honey, he tells her she's meant to be consumed. Every time a man calls a woman a girl, he tells her that she can't think like an adult. Every time a man calls a woman anything less than a woman, he tells her who's the boss. So, yes. We all know who the boss is, boys. You've done such a good job of telling us. Because every time a man makes a joke about rape or wife beating, he issues a warning to women, and you've done such a good job of warning us. Because now it's not a time to take it all back. After the way you've treated us for millennia, do you think we're going to just sit back and continue to take it? Do you think that we don't know how to use our voices? Do you think we don't know how to use, how to get help from our friends? Do you think we don't know how to use our bare hands or use the court system or use a gun? Because we don't know how to use our bare hands because if you want to insult us again by saying we fight like a girl, then let me correct you. We fight like a woman, and we fight dirty. 59%. I don't think I was one of that 59%. No, no, no. <laughs> it's just that when you're saying that women are able to fight back in those ways, that's one way or not to use <laughs> and, and I think I heard Giuliani say something like he used to be a Democrat. And he's like, yeah, I was until I got a house. Whoa. Because then you realize, oh, everything is being taken away from me to help people with apartments or help with the... And, and I think that's where that switch came from. Anyway, that's just a phrase I heard him say years ago. Anyway, no matter. This is another one. 102 Destruction of Destructions, Self-Destructive. <sighs> I've been self-destructive before, and you liked me then. Mm -hmm. Should I go back to go back to those old days where it didn't really matter who I was with? Because why would it matter unless it was you? Mm -hmm. But I can't do that to myself anymore. Because now it's about time to turn it all around. Because if you think for a second we're going to stay content with injuring ourselves when really it's been a second nature to you to hurt us over and over again, justifying it, saying that's just the way it goes, that's just the way it always is. Because how were we self-destructive before? How did you like us when we did ourselves in and when we succumbed to you? Well. We're tired of acting helpless. You haven't begun to see how strong we really are. Because we've seen how you work. And I said it's now time to turn it all around because I'll use your tricks to make you self-destructive. And once the tables are totally turned, you'll feel how we women feel, how the cards have been perpetually stacked against you, and you have no power at all. 103 destruction instructions run faster <laughs>
I keep doing this to myself. I keep coming back. I beg for attention. Uh, I don't know how to stop because I don't know how to be alone. So I keep giving you one more chance to make it perfect. One more chance to rescue the damsel. But I'm not a damsel and I'm not being rescued. And I don't know which one of us lit the match and set this relationship on fire. I don't know which one of us turned that wheel of that semi to set that wheel in motion and started this 50 car pileup and caused this fantastic car crash. I don't know. You say it's my nagging, but if you weren't so wrong all the time, you would never hear me complain. And you say you don't, can't yell at me for my accomplishments. I know I'm younger than you and I make more money than you as an artist, but why can't you win in the workforce? And don't tell me that other men are hitting on me. That only means I'm good looking and I have more male friends anyway. You should really get over yourself. I've always said we're perfect for each other. I don't know why you don't get that. <laughs> and you keep bringing up all these bad points. And why do you keep saying that I'm twisting that knife in your back? Because at this point, even though I hate you, I'll never let you go. So you'll just have to run faster. <laughs> this is just, no. No, this is all just storytelling. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, That's actually what I said. Um, when someone said, why don't you have a gun? I said, well, I'm not going to carve any surprise in the start. And I said, well, how are you going to do it with other people? I'm going to run faster. You run faster. I don't have guns. My Marine husband does. Yeah. Who shot all of his life when he was little and his dad was a state cop and he's very comfortable and likes shooting guns? That's just something in his past. I have two more, and I'm gonna get them, get them out of the way. This is for the show. One, 2015, destruction, destruction. I'm destroying a relationship. Oh. I know you came to me for assistance, and I know Al. I'm telling you our don'ts. But if you really want to get rid of them, follow these simple steps to destroy a relationship. Don't pay them any attention. I mean, when they ask you a direct question, sure, you have to answer them, eventually. But just start going about your life the way, like, you, like they actually weren't there. Forget that you have plans together. Make plans with your friends. I mean, it's a, if the two of you aren't meant for each other, they're not going to want us wait to hang out around with you and your friends anyway, right? And by the way, that could be the rationale they asked why you didn't invite them. Don't. Give them any space at their place because you don't want them to feel like they have any permanence in your life. Oh God, you've already done that already, haven't you? <laughs> they have their they have their crap at your place, or let me guess, they're trying to redecorate. Oh, that's worse. <laughs> Is the stuff there something of theirs that they can't that can be destroyed or by accident? You know, because really, if you want to end a relationship, you have to cut any and all strings. I mean it. <laughs> oh, and I was going to suggest that you should look like you have violent tendencies. Maybe clean your gun more. <laughs> but then I realized that acting crazy might backfire at you and they can call the cops or something, and you don't want to deal with that load of mess. So don't go acting crazy to drive them away, as tempting as that sounds. <laughs> When something goes wrong, goes violently wrong, don't tell your partner that you don't want this to end. Don't say that you don't want this to be a goodbye, because then you've given them mixed signals. You're giving them a glimmer of hope that they might be able to work out this thing after all. Because really, the whole point is that of this whole relationship is that you don't want it to work out, right? <laughs> don't ever say that you don't want to throw away your relationship. Even if you do, because please, if you let them think that this, that you're vested into this anymore, any, anything from them, another, oh wait, and another thing, if something goes wrong, goes violently wrong, don't tell them you're sorry. God, no. 
That's the worst thing that you do. Don't open the window for me to think that you might be at fault. And don't even care if you were at fault or not, because the last thing you want to do is tell them that you're sorry for anything. I know they might cling. I know they might get desperate, but you said that you want to be free. I'm over here trying to help. You might not like it. This might not. This might seem counterintuitive sometimes, but the key is not to think about what you're doing. Yeah, it might hurt, but that's the point, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I have one for the ending for you here. Do it. One twenty fifteen. Destruction instructions. Use drones to kill. Oh no. <laughs> No. Destruction instructions. Yeah, That's yeah. what the whole theme is of this, right? The news arsenal for the U.S. military has been to use drones to kill Middle Eastern enemies. Because, you know, with drones for killing, we're free of friendly fire and are safe from sniper strikes. What a deal. But now those drones are used by Amazon to sell, to send you their products to you. Mm -hmm. And these drones are filling up the sky, invading our airspace, and the FAA is starting to, starting to set up restrictions. So, but the thing is, who listens to the FAA anyway? Those drones, when drones actually have cameras, you can use them for sale at the highest bidder. It doesn't even matter. Because I've got plans for my little drone. I've taken the camera off. I don't need to film what my drone's going to do. It might implicate me. Because my little dr hover drone is now armed with gun turrets and instructions to exactly which house to go to and exactly who to aim for. Because, you see, I can keep my distance and keep my technology there and have that do my work for me. As I said, as long as I set my coordinates right on your heart, the way you destroyed mine, I don't need to even hear you to cover my tracks and set my destruction and Instructions. I'll just watch that drone fly off to do my bidding, and I'll sit back, have a drink, and wait to hear of your guests. <laughs> Ingenious, if you want to try to rig a drone with gun turrets. Destruction instructions. I still need the camera. Well, they banned it, so I didn't know how to even work. This is all just fiction, right? Yeah, fiction, right. Right, it really is a special <laughs> Done for a book. <laughs> anyway, thank you, thank you. Close this up. Sure. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Lots of thanks.